Hey, I'm Tatiana with 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I will be making a DIY natural skincare set. I'll be making a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer with sun protection. And I am not a dermatologist. I am not your dermatologist even. This is just based on my own experience making these products here in my own home using some simple natural ingredients. All right, with all of that said, let's get into the video. So let's start with the facial cleanser. So ingredient number one is Castile soap. And I use Dr. Bronner's The Baby Kind, and it cleans really well. I like the Dr. Bronner's brand and everything they stand behind, so, but of course you can use any Castile soap. Number two ingredient is vegetable glycerin. This will help you retain the moisture in your face. And the third ingredient is jojoba oil. It's a natural moisturizer that helps balance the oils in your skin. It does not give you that oily feeling. This will not clog your pores. I'm 38 years old, going on 39 next month, but I still am getting these pimples and blemishes, you know, every once in a while. So I'm going to add a few drops of tea tree oil as well. Vegetable glycerin in face wash offers multiple benefits, including moisturizing and hydrating the skin, gentle cleansing without stripping moisture, and soothing properties for irritated skin. Castile soap helps remove dirt, oil, and impurities while maintaining the skin's natural moisture balance. Tea tree oil is a powerful ingredient for skincare, known for its antibacterial properties that fight acne causing bacteria and soothe inflammation. It helps control excess oil and promotes a clear complexion. So then I used a funnel to fill the bottle and it filled about halfway and the rest of the bottle I filled with filtered alkaline water. If I had distilled water I would have used that instead but I'm working with what I have and after mixing it I felt that the consistency of it on my fingers didn't feel right. I like it to be more soapy so I added one fourth cup more of Castile soap and it filled the bottle just right and after mixing it again I felt the consistency was much better and I put some on my face to test it out and after rinsing it gave a nice fresh feel and I just patted it dry my face and it felt great. So when I like something that I make I make a label for it I'm also using these small glass amber bottles as travel sizes and unfortunately with the ball inside it wasn't really spreading outside of the ball so the cleanser I think it was a little too thick for the ball so I'm actually looking at another travel size for the cleanser. I'll just label this travel size amber glass bottle anyways. I can just take out the ball and then just use the cleanser. I noticed that the ball rolling on my face feels really good, like a massage. Now here's a recipe for the toner. One cup of rose water. Rose water soothes inflammation, balances pH levels, and promotes a refreshed complexion. And one cup of witch hazel. Witch Hazel Toner tightens pores, controls oil, soothes irritation, and promotes a balanced complexion. That's it. It's very simple, just one to one. I would recommend getting a misting nozzle. The spray nozzle that I had made my face way too wet. But I'm happy with this toner, so I'm labeling it and I'm going to make a travel size. And the good news is the rolly ball thing works just perfect. It spread really well on my skin, and so I'm going to label this bottle and take it with me on my next trip. So now I'll show you how I made my face moisturizer. In this recipe, I used raw African shea butter 
100% natural and I scooped it out into a 1 4th cup. Now the fire should be at a low or medium heat and so just test it out because you'll have to make the double boiler. Add the 1 4th cup of the shea butter and add 1 tablespoon of beeswax pellets and start mixing it around with a silicone spoon. You'll want a silicone spoon because you can just leave it in there, you don't have to take it out. And if you grab the handle, it won't be hot. After mixing until it melts, then you can grab the Pyrex with a mitt and put it onto a heat safe surface. Now pour 1 4th cup of sunflower oil into a measuring cup and leave it to the side just for a few minutes and you'll add it to the mixture once it's cooled down. Now let's make the powder mixture. The ingredients I used are zinc oxide, which is a versatile ingredient in skincare offering broad spectrum skin protection while soothing and calming the skin, white turmeric powder, has anti-inflammatory properties and promotes a brighter complexion. Hyaluronic acid is a skincare ingredient known for its hydrating properties as it attracts and retains moisture in the skin, resulting in improved hydration and plumpness. MSM powder enhances skin health by promoting collagen production, improving elasticity, and reducing inflammation. Niacinamide improves the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, and fine lines. For this recipe, I used 2 tablespoons of zinc oxide, 1 tablespoon of white turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of MSM powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of niacinamide, and 1 fourth teaspoon of hyaluronic acid powder. Mix it all really well and add it to the cooled and mixed solution of beeswax, shea butter, and sunflower oil. It didn't mix well enough for me, so I poured it into my coffee bean grinder. You can use a food processor or a bullet blender. Be warned though, it's very difficult to clean afterwards. So try and clean it with a paper towel first to remove as much moisturizer as possible and then use a warm soap and water solution to clean it out. And I added about 30 drops of lavender oil. You can add any type of essential oil that you like to get the scent that you want. And I tested this out on my face. and to be honest, it felt a little grainy. I would leave it in the coffee bean grinder for a little longer to get a smoother texture. After about 10 minutes of this being on my face, it absorbed really well and it didn't feel grainy anymore. This is my first trial run for this three-step DIY skincare set, and I plan on doing more of these videos in the future. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!